Yeah, I'm a, I'm a dairy farmer and an avid uh, recreational fishing person um, and that was my motivation to get involved uh, with sea change. Um, I, I realised it needed input from lots of sectors and therefore I put my name forward and consequently got selected uh, democratically through a large group um, and there, here I am. I've been living in the area since uh, about uh, 1974, um, so I'm a local now and um, what attracted me in the first place was the bush, the sea, the fishing, the diving. This is where I learned to dive and fish and I developed a passion for it and um, that's, that's why I chose this place to live. It's a fantastic place to Coromandel and I love the Haraki Gulf. There's two main concerns. Uh, one is from my farming background, uh, sedimentation. I know sedimentation has a big impact on the Gulf and uh, we need to do what we can to, to keep that to an absolute minimum and also having seen the overfishing that has taken place um, over the years in the area. Um, you know, I like to see a gulf where everybody can catch a feed of fish to put on the table. We need to develop a marine spatial plan in order to, to protect our resources, to, to make sure that the gulf stays healthy. If we don't do anything, then you know, there'll be just an ongoing deterioration um, that is just not good for generations to come. So I think it's very important that we have a proper plan in place how to deal with the Harrogate Gulf Marine Park. The project uh, was initiated uh, by the regional councils, Auckland Council and Waikato Regional Council, and the stakeholder working group of which I'm a member. Um, it's got people from all parts of society. Um, yeah, we, we've got aquaculture people, we got commercial fishers, we got the recreational fishers, we got farmers, um, we got infrastructure people, community people. Um, the environmental lobby is, is well represented also and of course Mana Fanua is there big time as well. And what is very very important from my point of view is that once we deliver a marine spatial plan that it doesn't get picked apart by the agencies and they just take what they like because everybody's compromises have gone in there and if they pick out one thing they might then disadvantage one particular group so I think that's very important. So what we really want to see is, uh, is abundance, um, healthy habitats and thriving communities and that shouldn't be too hard. It will no longer be business as usual. Um, there are things that need to change and um, that may even cause some short term pain to some. But uh, at the end of the day we need to change um, if we want to have a healthy golf in the future. Sea change has changed the way I operate a little bit in, in two areas. Uh, one is during my fishing, I no longer keep all the fish that I'm allowed to, entitled to keep. I actually keep enough just for the table and I throw the rest back. Um, I got a scallop dredge which sits unused in the shed. And on the farm, um, you know, we've um, fenced off all our waterways. We've uh, covenanted patches of native bush and we've also created an artificial swamp. And we're hoping to create another one once finances allow. Um, that's all to capture nutrients and sediment that uh, could be excessive. It, my farm is my major asset. I love the farm. Um, I basically live for the farm and that's why we're doing all these things to, to improve it from an environmental perspective. And I'd like the farm to be an example for other farmers of what they can do with the right inputs and importantly the right support from the regional council. Um, yeah, it will be good for other farmers to adopt these same practices because it will be good for the Gulf and for our communities. People may not be aware of it, but uh, the Clean Streams Accord already is showing a good impact in New Zealand and our area as well as the rest of New Zealand. Um, for instance, um, down the Waiha and Piako rivers, nutrient inputs have either been held steady or slightly declined over the last 12 to 14 years. Sedimentation has been much reduced and yeah, the, the, the work that farmers are doing, the money they're spending, is showing results already. Uh, but as always, we can do more and we must do more.